the door and I thought, ooh, this is not good. Uh, you know, and I just, I kept my mouth shut. She went and got on her life for a little bit and came back out and she, she apologized and, and was saying, I'm sorry for the way I acted. You know, I, I, I just don't like being referred to as a pitiful woman. She said, I am a very strong woman. I survived uh, Slab City and da 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 da. And I'm like, look, oh, you know, Slab City is a way of life. I stood up for you and you're mad at me for that. I don't get that. You know, and you're not going to get an attitude with me for speaking my mind. This is my home. This is my life. This is affecting you coming here, me allowing you and bringing you here and bringing you into my home is affecting my life. And if I if I need to speak up on my life and say what I need to say, how who are you to tell me that? And so we worked that out and we got past that. And then, then this morning was when she really flipped out. And she was like, you know, she, she was completely disrespectful. And, and I told her, I said, look, if you don't think you, you can afford to pay rent, then you just need to be in a homeless shelter. I said, because life is, you, nobody gets to live anywhere free. Did she, did she?